It's not always easy to be a risk taker in agriculture. There's so many elements that are unknown. The modern world of agriculture, uh, it's it become tough and it's quite obvious uh, over the last 12 months seeing what the drought's done to many areas of Queensland, how difficult it is to survive if you're not innovative. You need to be thinking one step ahead all the time. MDH today operates 11 properties across Queensland. It is a, a large scale operation spanning approximately 3.35 million hectares. It's fully integrated from breeding uh, through to growing and then to fattening and then we package and market our meat ourselves across Asia, mainly Japan and Korea and some domestically. But we've tried to build the organisation into a way that we could move cattle seasonally to minimise some of the effects of the seasons and to give us the best uh, use of the land. A few of the family values have been to stick with strength and, and consolidate and then move forward. There's always been a real thirst for knowledge in the family and I think turning that knowledge into um, acumen, business acumen is a very, I think it's a gift, I don't think it, it's easily obtained, um, but I think taking a risk, a measured risk and, and, um, and fully backing yourself, I guess, is, is very important in any, in any business. I think what makes MDH special or perhaps different is that um, the directors all live and work um, on the properties. Um, Don, Bob and Al and, and Zan, while he was here, it, it's their life. I had been interested in flying since I was at school and the year after I left school, which is a fair way back now, I learned to fly and um, then bought my first aeroplane, which was a Tiger Moth. And uh, I used it for doing spotting and checking on the property that we had at the time, which was where our base was at Brightlands. We found that as the company grew, uh, aviation was going to play a much stronger role. The efficiencies to be gained by using aircraft in this part of the world are huge. Without aircraft, um, I don't think we could have done what we did with the structure that we had. And as, uh, as we've progressed and the, and the companies got bigger, we needed different types of aircraft. So we've progressed through the Cessnas, from the small 172s up to the 206s and 210s, and then more laterally into the more modern uh, aircraft, which have become much more important in our business structure. They need to be in places quickly. You know, they don't want to be fighting the thermals down low. It's just comfort. They can work on the plane. There's, um, you know, Wi-Fi inside and there's uh, the tables that they can sit out, sit down with their laptops and be able to work while flying. The PC-12, I think, turned out to be the ultimate aeroplane for us. We could load it up with stores in the wet season, with carrying men round as we needed them on different properties, and do it with ease. For Xander, the PC-12 was much more than a business tool. Um, very much a family man and a really, really involved dad to be able to travel quickly and efficiently and, and get home again was a big part of, of owning a turboprop and a, and a PC-12. So for me, I feel as if it was the perfect union um, between work and family. It's absolutely important that, uh, that all of us in the bush keep adapting, listening, and, uh, and seeking out new ways of doing things. I think the biggest part of it though is, is having supportive family and having people back you and then ultimately backing yourself. <laughs>